welcome to the session uh, now we are going to see about properties of recursive language just now we have seen the previous lecture uh, what is about uh, recursive language and a language is recursive if there exist a Turing machine m such that when Turing machine m accepts the string that are present in the language f and rejects the string that are not in the language f so when when the acceptance and rejection case has happened uh, the Turing in either or case the Turing machine halts without and uh, halts and uh, can provide a result and in and it is a desirable one. So and any language is an, uh, is less desirable if it is a recursive uh, language. So here uh, my proof is here. Uh, I'm saying my L1 and L2 be a recursive language is accepted by M1 and M2. For this this is my machine m1 and m2 so on input w you will have this uh, if it is accepted by uh, m1 it, uh, it gives you s or else no so similarly you will have this m2 so this is the separate thing so when you go for this union of two recursive languages l union l2 this is my machine called l union m l2 which is known as m for example my machine m1 uh, on input w so if it is accept obviously the result or the union of two recursive language the result will be always yes and it is accepted so when the machine m1 rejects when the machine m1 rejects automatically the m2 will start it and this uh, m2 will provide you either on input w it, it provides you the result either s or no so we'll have this construct m1 which for simulates m1 if m1 accepts then m accepts so when you have this uh, when when you first simulate m1 if m1 accept then obviously my whole machine will be accepted because l1 union l2 so there is no checking of uh, m2 machine so if m1 rejects for example my machine m1 rejects then m simulates m2 my automatically a machine m2 will be started and accepts if and only if machine 2 accepts if it is not obviously my result will be no so m is guaranteed to halt with either s or no on all possible in inputs so in either or case the machine should halt on these two cases because it is a recursive thus the union of two recursive languages recursive so next we will see this union of two recursively enumerable languages recursively enumerable so here uh, when you see this recursively enumerable if the machine m1 accepts the input w if the particular language is string is present in the particular language is that it accepts yes or else it may not it uh, it may not uh, halt and continuous loop will be happening right so uh, similarly my m2 is also the same so when you have when you separately having like this when you use this uh, union of two recursively enumerable languages recursively enumerable l1 union l2 will have this machine so given input w it is given to both m1 and m2 simultaneously so it is given m1 and m2 simultaneously because this condition is not appropriated this one why because so here m1 rejects m2 automatically will be started but here if there is a rejection case automatically it it is a uh, it may cause as the indefinite loop so that's why uh, given input w it is given to both m1 and m2 if w is accepted by either m1 or m2 or by both the machine will accept with output as yes if w is not accepted by m1 and uh, not accepted by m2 the machine m will not be accepted hence the union 
of two recursively enumerable languages also a recursively enumerable language okay so the next the third one is third proof will be here we have this if l is recursive then l bar is also recursive so it is also known as regular recursive languages are closed under complementation or complement of a recursive language is recursive so if you are giving an l is a recursive then l bar is recursive for example uh, we'll have if l is accepted by the machine m so if l is a language accepted by the machine m then l bar is a language accepted by the machine m bar for example i'm having a machine so this is a machine for an input w if the particular machine gets an input w if it is yes my m bar this is my m bar which 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 computes l bar right so my my m bar will be no and if the particular machine m gives you no my m bar will produces yes so m bar is the machine for l bar so l bar is recursive if l is recursive so in either case the machine should halt on both yes or no cases so if l is recursive then l bar is also recursive okay thank you